John, I suppose these changes with the monarchy in the UK pose a question for us here in Australia, and it's a question that does get discussed amongst Australians quite frequently, and that is, should we have a republic or a monarchy? Is this, is, is this going to solve our problems by going more towards the republic model? Well, I want to focus on the word republic. Yes. Yeah, okay, because uh, I'll explain that republic is where the parliament has sovereignty. And the parliament, in the words of a judge I had in the district court, he said, parliament has got sovereignty and decide which cases have trial by jury. It's as blatant as that. And, and this is it. It's going to be focused on that our rights are determined by, by the parliament, by the bureaucracy. And that's not on. We cannot have a republic. We go, go immediately to what we're supposed to have, which is a commonwealth. And the word commonwealth is ultra important. So neither a monarchy or a republic is going to work for us. Australia attempted a, a republic, it must have been somewhere in the vicinity of 25 years ago, and, and it failed in terms of the, the referendum, the vote numbers. Well, because people are ignorant. That, that's the problem. You know, you've got to have knowledge. You've got to be aware of this, your situation before you can make an informed decision. So at, the, at the moment, they're denied the truth. This is why I put the, put the book out to educate people. And, and Thomas Jefferson said he said that uh, if people don't know how to govern themselves, then educate them. And it's all about education, teaching, and uh, learning the lessons of history. Well, I think your book, Jackals of Slavery, does go a long way towards that very issue of educating people. Can you give us uh, some feedback on uh, readers' opinions? I believe you've done a second print run. Admittedly, it was, from what you were saying, a smaller print run. But uh, what has been the, the reaction or response from the, from the readers? Well, most of the response has been silence. And out of the first run, I gave away quite a few books. I gave away probably about uh, 30 or 40 books to different people. Not one word came back from either anyone, from members of parliament, uh, professors at university. One professor said, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, the book was stolen out of his car. And I said, oh yeah, that'd be right. You know, <laughs> and then they say, take me off your email list, we don't want to know. We don't want to and, and, but one response from, from one fellow who, who read the book, uh, he said, I said, what do you think about it, uh, Stephen? And he said, it's amazing, I'm lost for words. In other words, it was taking him back, so he, he had to look at his situation. And uh, the idea is to, like I say, educate, not, not to shock, but, uh, uh, we have to have a lawful revolution to putting things right and uh, the, the old saying that there are four boxes in defense of liberty the soap box the ballot box the jury box the ammo box you know yes. so the, the soap box is, is what they do in, in town uh, they walk up and down the street wave banners and so forth and, uh, and that's ignored and then there's the ballot box uh, where you elect people into uh, a parliament where you hope they produce good laws that's been ignored be taken over by the banks the, the banks control the parliaments and so we've got to resort to the jury box where we have sovereignty. We have the ultimate authority to make and impose laws. And so if we can govern ourselves th through trial by jury, that's the, the perfect civilised way because we do not want to get into bloody revolution and bombs and this. And in fact, Thomas Jefferson, again, he said uh, that Trial by jury is the only anchor yet imagined by man that can hold a government to the principles of its constitution. So he's nailed it. He said, trial by jury is the way to go. Uh, and I guess that that only uh, emphasises or reinforces the, the point that it's so important to get them to follow their own rules, which oh. is something they don't always do. Well, they don't, they don't do it and they don't care. I said, no, no. Uh, you're doing things wrong. And one judge said, no, I don't care. And they don't care. They're, they're out of control. And, and, and like I said, my initial case was against the banks. And that's when I found out how corrupt the judges were because uh, 
the banks are being protected by the judges. And that continues all, all through. Uh, I'll relate to that in my first book with uh, banks and, and judges. So, like I say, we've got to take control of ourselves and realise the immeasurable value of uh, the Magna Carta when it says that no free man, no free man, that emphasise the words no free man, shall be taken indeed in prison or dispossessed uh, or exiled or outlawed, uh, nor shall we pass over, nor shall we send over, unless by the lawful judgment of his equals, which is, which is the law of the land. So the law of the land is the law of the people, and in fact, trial by jury has been, been described as trial by the country. So when you have an issue, and you only want a, a judge or magistrate to adjudicate, you say, okay, I don't mind if you deal with this, but you must sign a memorandum of consent. That consent must be clear and unarguable. If the court does not receive that consent, the, the court's got no jurisdiction and all the judgments are null and void.